This is the sixth year in a row we are recognizing a lifetime legal innovator, somebody whose work really has left a long-term impact on our profession. I can tell you that this year's winner has a history of at least three decades, really, of representing low-income people who lack healthcare access. It's a, as I was telling him this morning, uh, no news to him or probably any of you, but um, the work in the healthcare field is one that uh, is an uphill battle. And uh, Bobby Peterson is, is someone who has spent nearly 30 years continuing to push that rock up the hill, no matter the obstacles and, uh, and the setbacks. Um, Bobby Peterson is the executive director of the Madison-based ABC for Health. He is also co-founder of the State Fire's Public Interest Law Section. Bobby became focused on uninsured or underinsured patients who couldn't pay their medical bills while he served as a law school intern, as a matter of fact. His inspiration really, I think, uh, from what I've read and what I know of Bobby, came probably from his own experiences growing up uh, in a family that had to confront the challenges of health and, and bills and often a uh, pretty unforgiving bureaucracy. Um, at first, I think Bobby found health law firms mostly did transactional work, but after a period of time, that included uh, backpacking in Europe, uh, which sounds like a blast. Um, Bobby went to work at the Center for Public Representation. He spent six years at the center. He was looking at insurance contracts, the law, and some cases in which he and his colleagues helped a lot of families. And then in 1994, some 26 years ago, Bobby founded ABC for Health. All told, ABC has helped more than 60,000 family members get access to health care and health coverage. Yes, 60,000. That's, that's an impact, uh, Bobby. I'll, I'll give you that. Um, now, here we are in 2020. Uh, the pandemic has this firm grip on our lives, and ABC has responded with what it calls its Pandemic Response Initiative. Um, the effort involves community education directed at the health coverage of minorities in Wisconsin, displaced or dislocated from work because of COVID-19. The group now uses videos on YouTube. Uh, the videos talk about it, accessing healthcare during the pandemic, using social media and whatever other avenues they can find to really get the word out to people uh, and get them the help they need. ABC provides the voice for people who don't have one. The people at ABC, led by Bobby, use creativity, innovation, um, really anything else they can think of to get people the help they need. They use grants, contracts, uh, charitable contributions to help link people to legal services and information that will help them get health care. That's something that Bobby Peterson has been doing for 26 years now, really longer than that, even before ABC for Health. Um, so after this long and winding journey since law school, we thought it was time to recognize Bobby Peterson for his work. So at this time, please help me recognize and congratulate Bobby Peterson as our 2020 Lifetime Achievement Award winner. Well, thank you, Tom, and members of the committee, uh, the State Bar, Wisconsin Lawyer Magazine, um, Joyce Hastings, I, it, it, the, the uh, opportunity to work with you folks was, was great. Uh, you're, you're so professional and detailed in your approach. No stone was unturned and, and uh, it made this uh, uh, very enjoyable for me and for my staff. We appreciate the recognition. This doesn't happen just because of me, but it's really a dedicated staff that has worked for years on these issues. Um, we've worked on access to healthcare coverage, insurance. We started mainly working with children and youth with special healthcare needs who face many obstacles. Um, and over the years, we've continued to innovate. I think I appreciate the fact that the State Bar recognizes innovators because I, I, it's so important to keep moving things forward, to look at things differently. Uh, my old boss at, at uh, the Center for Public Representation, Louise Trubeck, as a law student and as a young attorney used to always tell me, keep thinking, keep thinking. Uh, I didn't quite understand what she was talking about then. I'm like, oh, well, I've got the answers for this. But I think her, her, her really was keep innovating, keep thinking more about it because there are other ways or other angles or other solutions to be thinking about. And you know, innovation is sort of baked into our DNA at ABC for Health. Um, we've tried to do as many, you know, if it's a, if it's a new angle, we'll try it. You know, we might fail, but we're, we're going to try it. We've created our own in-house studio back in 2006. And so we've been doing webinars, you know, like this, you know, way back, um, or, you know, in the mid-2000s. We created subsidiaries when we focused on 
rural health needs. We created ABC for Rural Health to address some of the unique challenges that people that rural populations face. Um, we created a technology subsidiary that's a for-profit, you know, hopefully it's going to be a, a funder of ABC for Health down the road at some point. But it the technology that we secured with our partners from the NIH, uh, I think we're the only public interest law firm that has received funding from the National Institute of Health to build a tool called Advocus that is a TurboTax-like tool for health benefits that we use for our clients to help sort and identify and, and help build a pathway to coverage for them, identify legal challenges and hurdles that are in the way and help address those, but also work on strategies of prevention because we know that for a lot of low-income folks that we can, if we get in that space early enough, we can help them avoid medical debt, collections, um, bill payment that they can't afford. Uh, so there's things that we can do. We, the Wisconsin Hospital Association you know, has reported just this month uh, $1.3 billion in uncompensated care. Now think what, what strategies we can use to help avoid that and get payment up front. Um, and we can with better access to services and support with legal leverage as a part of it. Our models are always really based upon the fact that we have attorneys that can execute legal judgments and services to help move the system when it doesn't want to move, Medicaid, private insurance, other things. Um, we've really tried to be innovative in terms of how we communicate. We, we created a subsidiary, Health Watch Wisconsin, for education and policy. Uh, Bryn McBride is our YouTube star who is putting out videos left and right um, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views, you know, on open enrollment, open enrollment walkthrough, SSI rule changes. I mean, some of this stuff, these aren't cat videos. Um, there's a lot of people watching them and uh, appreciating the fact that we're, we're presenting the information in an approachable way. Um, but this work is, 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 is challenging. Um, most of us in, in the legal services world face funding uh, limits. Um, COVID has presented a challenge, but I think we're, we're, we're largely undeterred because I think for us, we want to keep moving forward. We want to keep innovating. We want to keep trying to do things a little differently to improve the process. Um, and uh, I've got a staff meeting coming up just after this, and there's always an agenda item in our meeting of, you know, process improvement, innovation. How are we going to change things? How are we going to do it a little differently? And like I said, that's part of our DNA. So, I want to thank um, all of you and, and, and the innovators. Congratulations to you and, and encourage the State Bar to continue this process of, of recognizing innovation. It's so important to the legal profession. It's so important for legal services to low-income people. Um, and and we, we, can, we can always do more and we will keep the fight. Thank you.